Today, I'm gonna to share with you the number one benefit that I've experienced taking NMN. I'm also gonna give you a general update uh, and uh, some other things that have been going on with myself and with the channel. I've remained a bit quiet lately, but uh, I'm working on that. I'm constantly working on ways to make new content, but I wanna sort of explain uh, some of the reasons uh, why things have been slower and why I'm really not so sure again, long-term, how things are gonna look here on YouTube for me, for the Pulse. But uh, it has been a roller coaster the last few months as far as channel fluctuations go. You know, I thought in February, March, when things began to rebound and a couple videos hit 10,000 views or thereabouts, you know, I thought, wow, uh, the algorithm is turned back on. You know, the shadow ban is turned off. And then after about a month, there was a relapse. And the content, the videos were getting just a few hundred or a little over a thousand views again, for the most part. And it sort of took the wind out of my sails. It was a real gut punch. And I thought, wow, it, what's going on here? This is totally schizo. It's like either I'm shadow banned or I'm not, but it seems to be a mixture of both right now. It really doesn't know what it wants to do with me, how uh, it wants to support me or not support me. And therefore, that's my ability to reach any of you that are still watching, um, is just how much the algorithm allows us to talk about self-care and how much the algorithm kind of sides with the medical community that frankly uh, doesn't believe that we should be sharing our health experiences on social media, as sad as that is. Yet we see all kinds of channels popping up uh, from various spectrums of the political landscape. And that is kind of odd that freedom of speech is allowed when you're talking about politics or religious topics, yet medical topics or healthcare topics or taking care of yourself and eating better and exercising, and yes, taking some supplements if you're so inclined. How is that content that is dangerous? I just, it makes you really think that this has a lot more to do uh, with financial reasons than freedom of speech reasons that they're limiting some dangerous speech uh, talking about taking vitamins, you know, that that's somehow dangerous and threatening uh, to the algorithm. So I'm still going to do it. You know, I'm still going to continue, but I am, you know, not really highly motivated uh, to continue pushing things here on YouTube, even though I'm still posting, you know, I'm kind of leaning towards shorts, they're easier to do, they get more views, uh, you can do them more often, you can sort of make a comment or a general point and uh, put it out there and then move on to another point, another general comment. Uh, so the longer form stuff, you know, requires a little bit of uh, preparation and basically, you know, when I'm breaking down a study, for example, I'll spend a day or two reading it, understanding it, researching some of the uh, surrounding information around it. And yes, I'll share my view, but it, I'm also sharing it based on the information that I could find that's available and, uh, and also my own experience for sure. So the main purpose of this channel remains to document my longevity progress. It began very much with NMN and NED boosting in general in that topic. Uh, it sort of was sabotaged by the whole NMN ban pursuit by FDA. Maybe we'll get some new news next month uh, when we're finally supposed to get a response from the FDA uh, about the citizen's petition. And maybe there'll be more to talk about and more interviews to do at that point surrounding NMN. And maybe we'll see it uh, available in more uh, commercial outlets, which I do anticipate. And that'll get interesting again. So I'll keep an eye out for that. Um, one interesting point in the science community is that there are now 14 different aging hallmarks. So hallmarks of aging, you hear this term quite often, and they started off with something like eight, and then there was 10, and then there was 12, and then there, now there seems to be 14. So that may be a, a, an area where we may pursue. I'm also seeing more and more different kinds 
of approaches being beneficial to longevity, whether it's diet, whether it's exercise, whether it's other supplements, and even some drugs. Um, but for me, uh, I'm now 60 and a half, right? So in four and a half years, I'll be 65. I've been taking NMN for just about four and a half years total now. So I'm about halfway to 65. I think it's getting interesting in the long view to sort of say, wow, look, this guy's been doing this for years. Uh, where am I going to be in four and a half years? Where am I going to be at 65? How am I going to look? How am I going to feel? How active am I going to be? Uh, is there going to be a downturn? Is it going to continue to level off the way it's been? I have felt better every year that I've taken NMN. So I appear to feel like I'm still on a slow improvement, like I'm on a rise, like I'm slowly still reversing somewhat the effects of aging, certainly over where I was five years ago uh, when I first started with resveratrol and then shortly after that and a man within a year later. Um, so things have improved every year since that's going to be interesting. Is there going to be a, a plateau or a leveling off of these benefits? There have been over 20 different things or areas that have been beneficial to me that I consider NMN benefits. And it took me until relatively recently to zero in on one. And it's rather obvious, but I think it's the thing that's driving my health overall. And I think the number one benefit for NMN is maintaining physical fitness. I think this has been the biggest key and that comes from diet and exercise. But because it's helped me maintain my physical fitness, I've no longer been on this sort of get in shape, fall out of shape, get in shape, fall out of shape that I was in for decades. That was my standard operating procedure, right? That was my life. That was a cycle of my life. I'd get in shape, fall out of shape. And ever since NMN, now four years, I've stayed in shape. That's been the number one benefit. I'm no longer on this roller coaster. I'm no longer backsliding. I'm maintaining. And that's why I say it took me time to realize that and for that to play out. Because had things fallen apart for me after two or three years, then I would have begun to wonder, well, what, what was NMN doing anyway? And now that it's many years and I see no signs of slipping, in fact, I've made more efforts as I've gone to eat better and do more physical fitness and stay fit more regularly, then I think that has been the number one NMN benefit for me. It'll be interesting to hear what you guys think, what your experience continues to be. Some of you also have taken NMN now for years, and you have a lot more to say about this longer arc that you've experienced, as have I. I hope to see you really soon, and I hope this video gets shown to some of you guys so that you can weigh in and get those comments up and let me know how you're doing. Thanks for watching, those of you out there. I'll see you soon.